Ladies and gents, we are on our way to Mavis Tire in New Jersey over here in Ledgewood. I'm getting tires put on my 2018 Chevrolet Volt. This car has 48,721 miles on it. Tires are worn out. They're not going to be good in the winter. Uh, even last winter in the snow, I was kind of slipping and sliding a little bit more than uh, that I remember the car slipping and sliding around. So we're going to get tires put on today. Uh, I am going through Mavis rather than doing it at the store. Normally what I would do is I would get uh, tires from Tire Rack. I would have them sent to the dealership and then have them installed. But Mavis had this deal that if you go online and you set up an appointment and you do it all there, the tires ended up being like $17 less per tire and then they charge $18 to install mount balance and, and do the whole swap. So it turned out to be the same price to get the whole job done rather than just go on Tire Rack and buy the tires from them. Uh, listen, I, I just, I was on a computer. I said, let me mess around and see where I can get the best deal. And it looks like this is where I can get the best deal. So we're heading over there right now. Now, rather than just sitting in the waiting area while the, the job is getting done, I'm actually gonna go for a little jog. I'm gonna take you along with me and we'll kind of just talk about uh, maybe running, maybe tires, you know, I really don't know yet. This is gonna be a more of a spontaneous type uh, vlog video and uh, we'll just, uh, we'll take it as it comes. Let me quick show you the tires and, and show you what we're dealing with here. So these are Michelin uh, Energy Saver ASs. These are what are put on the electric vehicles, uh, the Volt and the Bolt actually. And uh, as you can see, you know, we still have a little bit of tread here. There's a wear bar right here, so we're very, very close. But if we do the old penny test and put the penny in here, you're gonna see that we're not even touching Lincoln's uh, hair on that outside tread. As we get to the inside tread, we're just into his hair. Uh, same here as we get a little further down. And basically what you want, uh, good tires, you wanna be at like the eyebrow or eyebrow level. As you get into the forehead, you're gonna start to replace soon. Once you get to the point where the tire tread is not up to Lincoln's head, uh, it's time to replace tires. So that's why I'm getting this done. I also have, if you look at the back tire here, uh, this plug, my best friend Christian put this plug in, which is sort of on the sidewall where it shouldn't be, but that was put in probably over a year ago now, maybe a year, actually pre-COVID, so probably like a year and a half to two years ago, uh, that plug was put in out in front of his house. And uh, you know, my intention was to put the plug in just to get the car home, and then I go to work, I get a new tire. And as I drove with his back tire here, I just got more and more confident with it that I, it kind of slipped my mind and you know, I never really uh, never really worried about it, but he did, a, he did a fantastic job here. But you can even see this, I don't know if you can see it on a video, but it's starting to crack a little bit and stuff like that. So anyway, it's time for tires, so we're gonna go get the job done. This is Route 46 here, and it's a great spot to run uh, because you have a real wide shoulder on each side. So a lot of times I'll come up this way and I'll just, uh, I'll do laps. This is a probably a two or three mile stretch maybe, two mile stretch, and then uh, it goes to Route 10, which is not that far away. Take that stretch and just do loops, you know? So that's the game plan for today's run. I figured the tires are gonna take, I don't know, maybe half hour, 40 minutes, something like that. So that'll give me the time to knock out five, six, uh, five or six miles. They open at nine, it's 8.48, I'm a little bit early, so I'm just gonna hang out here until uh, till they unlock that door. We'll go in, we'll get set up. It just turned nine o'clock, so they should be opening the door any second, but there's been a guy standing out front, literally like at the door, like hand on the door handle, just staring into the building since I got here about 15 minutes ago. It's like, dude, just wait in your car, don't be that guy. They're inside, they're setting up, they're opening doors, they're getting ready for, for their appointments for the day. You don't have to just stand there for 15 minutes and put pressure on them when you know they open at nine o'clock. See, this is what happens when you record videos. You leave the Mavis, you basically start running up Route 46, have a little conversation with you guys, only to find out you didn't hit the record button. So we're already about a quarter of a mile into our jog. We're gonna do a nice easy pace and just see how many miles we can get knocked out while they, uh, 
while they install tires on the 2018 Volt. This is going to be like a pilot video of what running videos could be like. Because this is something that I want to do. But, filming with the GoPro, you got to worry about wind noise. Which right now I feel the wind hitting me. Which means you're probably hearing it through the microphone. Whew. I'm a little out of breath already, which means I probably started running too fast. And you're also probably getting a bunch of noise from the traffic driving down the road here. And the whole idea is to make videos that are enjoyable to watch. And if it's not enjoyable to watch, then nobody's gonna tune in. First test is gonna be a microphone test. I just recorded everything with just the GoPro in my hand. Now we're gonna put this little foam guy on and see if that helps with the wind noise. The foam guy is on. That should block some of the wind noise. Hopefully it does. We just finished our first mile, eight minutes, 25 seconds. We're trying to run at a pace, a conversation pace, if you will, where I can talk without being out of breath, which even right now I feel like I'm, you know, laboring a little bit with breath, but only because I'm trying to talk while I run. One of my goals is to make running videos or running channel and I never really did it because of, you know, time and equipment and, you know, every other excuse you can make. But that would really be like an ultimate goal for me because it's something I really enjoy doing. And I think if I can inspire some people to kind of get out there and maybe not run, but maybe walk, you know, jog, and then get into running. It's good for your health, it's good for your mind. It's good for everything. And I think it could help a lot of people with things like stress and anxiety. And, you know, it's helped me tremendously. So if I can put information out there that would get people on their feet, I think it's a positive thing. Well, that was totally at fault there. <laughs> that would have been bad if that white car rear-ended that guy. Because he stopped suddenly for me. Ah, oh, that would have been bad. One great thing about like walking, jogging, running too, is it doesn't take any equipment other than a pair of sneakers, you know? You throw your sneakers on, you walk out your front door, and you put your miles in. Again, walking, running, jogging, sprinting, whatever level you're at. Plus, it's a level you can always build. You know, like I've been running consistently for about three years, but I constantly challenge myself to reach new, uh, new speeds, new distances, stuff like that. I'm trying to find that right conversation pace uh, where I'm not breathing heavy as I'm talking. So I gotta slow down a little bit. Uh, what I was gonna say was the main way I push myself to do further distance, quicker speeds, things like that, is I record every single run or walk that I do on the app. It's by Under Armour, it's called Matt My Run. I just use a free version. I'm not sure if you can see it here on the phone, but it gives you, you know, your mileage, your time, your splits. It records a map, GPS of where you've been. So what you do is, let's say you're just starting out and you're walking. <gasps> let's say you start out and you're just walking. Well, go out and say, I'm gonna walk for 30 minutes and walk a route 
that takes you 30 minutes. Now when you go out the next day, go back out, do the same exact route, and try to beat it. Beat it by a second, beat it by a minute, whatever it may be, and get faster and faster. Maybe you step up from a walk to a jog or something like that. And then once that becomes easy, then you expand that circle and you go further and just keep repeating that process over and over and over again until you get to a level well beyond where I'm at. You know, I'm at a level now where I can, you know, just decide to run a marathon, train for a couple weeks and I'm good to go. But, uh, I mean, there's people out there doing endurance events, 100, 200 miles, which to me is insane, but maybe one day I'll do that too, because it's the same struggle. You just slowly work your way up and get better and better and better by, uh, by putting your miles in. Morning. See, he's getting his miles in. I really hope this video is interesting. We just passed the three mile mark. We're at 25 minutes, 39 seconds. Or do you say we do a quick lap through uh, BMW of Roxbury? Let's see what they have. They're a little light on vehicles too. I know I've seen a lot more cars at this dealership before. So, you know, they definitely have more than we do, but I'm sure this chip shortage is probably affecting them as well. Oh, they got a trail boss. I wonder how much they're asking for this trail boss. They have a price on here, 55,786. 55,786. 55,786. Wait for an update at the end of this video. This truck is selling for 55,786. It has 33,000 miles on it. I'm gonna take a picture of the VIN number. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how much this truck was brand new. We are back at Mavis. That was a four. 0.25 mile loop it took me 37 minutes but the car's definitely inside <sighs> all right looks like the tires are on I'm gonna turn the camera off pick up the speed a little bit and run until this guy calls me or until I see the car outside at which point we'll uh whew, I already picked up the speed we'll uh finish up this video but uh give me a minute I'm gonna finish these miles and I'll let you know where we're at when I finish there you can see a map 6.01 miles at 9.08 in the morning I started, right now it's 10 o'clock. Took me 51 minutes and 12 seconds to complete the six miles at an average pace of 8.31. Then when you go down a little further, you can actually see your splits. So like my first mile was an 8.27, 8.39, 8.25, 9.38, 8.23. And then you can see when I stopped recording, I picked up the pace a little bit and knocked out a 7.28. So a pretty cool app to, to use. And again, uh, you know, by walking, jogging, running, something on a schedule with intent to beat that day before or go a little further than that day before will give you, uh, you know, will we'll build the mindset to just keep going, keep pushing harder and harder and keep elevating your level, which just gonna increase your health, increase your fitness, increase your, your life, and uh, you know, make you mentally stronger as well.
we are all uh, tired up, aligned, and ready to go. We're gonna drive down the road a little bit, find a spot, pull over, and then check them out. I also have tire shine that I want to apply because the tires are new, and I, I feel that if I apply tire shine now, it'll really soak in nice and uh, you know give the, give the tires a nice, long-lasting shine. Might as well do the penny test, take a look at the difference. Uh, obviously you can see night and day compared to the set that was on there and if we put our penny in you'll see we're way into Lincoln's uh, into his into his face at this point you know down to his his nose area and we got full tread on here Michelin energy saver AS no more plug on the back tire so that's good It's actually getting a little windy out. It looks like it's gonna rain. So I'm not gonna put tire shine in now because as I spray, it's just gonna blow all over the side of the car. Uh, right now I got this Omerol Extreme Tire Shine, which uh, seems to work pretty good. Usually I get the tire foam. I like the foam because you spray it on, you walk away, and as the foam you know disappears, it leaves the tire shine obviously on the tire. Uh, I don't have any of that though. I bought that because they didn't have tire shine at the store in the foam, uh, in the foam format. Look at your wheel size. In this case, these wheels are 17 inch. So cut yourself a 17 inch circle out of uh, either cardboard or foam core board like this is. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what it does is it provides a nice shield for the rim. So you can actually uh, hold that up to the wheel, spray your tire shine on and not get it all over your wheel. Um, you know, they sell these in Pep Boys and stuff made out of plastic, but why pay for it when you can just make your own? 